God, this is my first video. <sighs> aka a blessed rn welcome to my channel where i am here to help you with all things dosage calc um pre-nursing nursing uh if you're already in nursing you still just want to like revisit it i'm your girl so a little bit about me i am nursey i a blessed rn I am a registered nurse. I have been a nurse for 13 years. I started off as a LPN, and then I went back to school and I have a uh, associate's degree. And then I went back to school again and I got a bachelor's degree. And so here we are now. And I do uh, work currently as a medical surgical nurse and yeah i was a pharmacy technician for a little bit before i was a nurse so i had some experience with uh doses calc there i worked in retail i didn't do hospital but we still had to get nationally certified and you had to take a certification test and what was on that test doses calculations problems um so yeah that's a little bit about me i'm a mom Did she just walk through my shot? Hey, it's your girl, Mikaela. <laughs> I'm a wife. I'm a sibling. Mm. Me. So, dosage count. A lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people. Intimidated by doses calculation, um, especially if you're not a math person. So, um, I'm mean, gonna break it down for you. Um, and so I just, I don't know, I just taking a liking to it, and I'm just here to help you. Let me know what kind of problems you have down below, and let's see if we can work them out. Okay, so. Now that we've gotten that out the way, let's do some problems together. If you have a specific problem that you just cannot seem to figure out, drop it below. Drop it below. Drop it below. Oh, no, seriously. Sad. And let's see if we can. Why is she up there talking on my. This is not her channel. So let's talk about. Metric conversions. So, in the metric system, you have your base. So, that's the base. And then you're going to be going either from your base to a larger unit, which would be in this case a kilogram, or you'll be going to a smaller unit, which would be either a milligram or an even smaller unit, which is a microgram. And then you can use, um, you can divide or uh, multiply to get from these different units, depending on which way you're going. But the way that I remember it, and it has never failed me yet, is that if you are going from small to large, you go left and you're going from might to slight right. Small to large left, might to slight right. It just works. And it's always three decimal spaces. And these are just some of your common conversions that we use. You know that one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. You'll use these um, 
this conversion in your pediatric um, problems when they give you the weight of the patient in pounds and then you have to convert it into kilograms or I mean you might have to do it for adults too but mainly this is the type of problem you see is pediatric and then one pound is 16 ounces or 454 grams and then you have your um Fahrenheit and Celsius conversions and you just really have to like commit those to memory. I'm trying to figure out a clever way that you can memorize them, but and got one yet, but I'm working on it. And then the teaspoon is five mLs. The tablespoon is going to be three teaspoons because it's going to be 15 milliliters. And then an ounce is 30 milliliters. I mean, that's really, that's all to it. Um, you know, there are different ways you can break those down and you're like, oh, one ounce is how many tablespoons or teaspoons. But if you know, like these three main things, then you can figure it out. And so when a lot of people say they have problems with dosage calc, it's because there are a lot of words in there. They'll have like the doctor's orders with the, um, medication comes in what it's running in how many times does the earth go around the sun like it's just everything in the problem but if you understand what it is that you're trying to figure out then it'll be easier for you to look and find the information that you need and won't get so overwhelmed so we see that the iv fluid this bag has gotten medicine on the inside of it and your fluid that it's in is called the diluent it be normal saline um half normal saline the five uh, which is dextrose and water i mean there are different types of solutions and then you have your medicine which is this and it's like a little bit of medicine in a big bag but in the medicine which is these little specks right here. See the specks, specks, the specks, the specks, the specks. That's what's floating around in the whole entire bag. So if you have this big bag of IV fluids with medicine mixed up in it, how much of it does the patient get at one time, which is gonna be your flow rate? Or if you have like a bottle, which is like this and you have the medicine that's floating around in it because you got a suspension. So you've got the, the liquid part and then you have the drugs um, that are floating around. And it's like how much of it will equal to what the doctor is prescribing for the patient because they can't get all of it in the bottle. So the question will tell you the drug comes in this whole entire thing but you can't give this whole entire thing to the patient because i mean you might kill them so that's how we figure out what it is that we need to give the patient um what the doctor is telling us how much um, medicine is in the package that it comes in and how much of it are we as the nurses are going to draw up in a um syringe or are we going to program for the um flow rate okay so let us start with metric conversions remember i was telling you small to left you i mean small to large you go to the left might to slight go to the right Left, right, my left, your right. You figure it out, you know what I'm saying? So, let's do some practice problems. Practice problems. So, if we have 600 milliliters and we're going from a milliliter to a liter, we know that we're going from small to large. So we're going to the left, large left. So you write your problem and you put your decimal place. So you can 
uh, be able to count the spaces. And it's always going to be three spaces um, to the left or to the right if you're going from one unit um, to the next. Now, of course, if you're just going from micrograms to kilograms, you have to have like three and three and three because, I mean, a microgram is like itty, itty bitty, teeny tiny, you know, milligram is that and then the gram and then the kilogram. So, you know what I'm saying. So, we're just going from one step to the next. All right. All right. So, we're going to the left. One, two, three. So, there is my decimal. And it's going to be 0 0.6 liters. See how easy that was? Small to large, left. Right to slight, right. So let's do another one. 3.4 kilograms equals how many grams? So a kilogram is going to be larger than a gram, right? It's a kilogram. So we're going to do from might to slight, and we're going to the right. Write your problem out with your decimal place, and a one, and a two, and a three. So boom, boom. This is your decimal right here, and boom. And remember, no trailing zeros. So in school, they made a huge deal about uh, people not placing the zero before on the end. And then if you have a zero after a decimal, because don't this look like another decimal? I mean, another zero that's added on to it is not needed. So therefore, you can have a medication error. So don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do the trailing zeros. And don't forget your uh, zero in front of the decimal. So... This is going to be 3,400 grams. Let's do another one. All right. So 0 0.3 milligrams equals how many grams? You're going from small to large left. Small to large left. Same thing. Boom. Do, 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 do. One, two. Three, and you add your zeros in there, 0 0.003 grams. I mean, that's the same one, but you get it, right? So comment below. Let me know what other issues you are having with your metric conversions um, with converting grams or liters um i will also do some i guess household conversions if you need those um they're pretty much the same way um i for one do not like dimensional analysis because it's so many steps and you have to remember every single conversion and if you don't add one of the steps in there your answer is going to be off to me the less steps that there are the less chance that you have of not getting the question wrong by leaving something out but that's just me. I am not an advocate for dimensional analysis. I like ratio proportion. I like simple things. I like mnemonics. They help me remember stuff. I like might to slight right, small to large left. So if you could appreciate th these things, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe, follow, tell somebody else who was in school, pre-nursing, nursing or nurses, we all need a refresher. Nursing is a lifelong learning opportunity. Okay, so if you have a specific problem that you just can't seem to solve, drop it below and let's see if we can work it out. Um, this is my first video and I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know, talk to me, let me know. I'm here for you. We are here for each other. It's a nurse enough nurses eating their young. And uh, we need nurses. We need good nurses. We need knowledgeable nurses. We need real nurses who completed their programs and sit for the boards and can take care of these people out here. So let me know what other things that you want to see in future videos that I can help you with. And as always, be blessed. Bye-bye.